Limerick are true to their second Munster Senior Football final in 12 months after beating a Waterford team that finished with 13 men at picturesque Far Field on Garvin. Beaten in last year's final by just one point by Cork, a determined Limerick side raced into a four-point lead in the opening 10 minutes. Ger Collins pointing within a minute of the throw-in. And then scoring their only goal when well set up by fellow corner forward Stephen Kelly. Matters got worse for Watford when midfielder Tommy Prendergast was sent off by the referee for this challenge on Limerick's James O'Donovan. On second view, it seems as if Prendergast was starting his jump when making contact with his opposite number. Whatever your view, it was certainly the turning point of the match. But the home side showed great spirit to respond, and when dual player Gary Herney grabbed a high ball, held off a defender, and fired a low shot past Brian Scanlon, the sides were level, one goal and two points each. That made it three goals and six points for Herney in the championship in the last five seasons. But Limerick's numerical advantage began to tell, and they scored four points in a row, including this effort from full forward Ian Ryan. Watford stayed in touch with captain Tony Gray, landed this fine score, with Limerick leading at the break one goal and eight points to one goal and four. The home side's half-forward Brian Wall kicked four points on the day, and this effort reduced the arrears to just three. But with Limerick's outstanding midfielder John Galvin superb at centre field, he helped his side take over. Galvin started the move that saw attacking cornerback Marco Reardon send over this great point. John Owen's side refused, however, to lie down. Full forward Robert Ahern landing this long-range effort. But their numerical disadvantage was to cost them dearly, as Limerick kicked the last four points of the match, including one of three from substitute Conor Fitzgerald. Watford ended with 13 men. Referee Syl Doyle was called by his linesman, and he then shown a red card to captain Tony Gray for an off-the-ball incident in the very last seconds of the game. Limerick could yet end that 114-year hoodoo without a Munster senior football title. As it ended today, Limerick, one goal and 17 points. Waterford, one goal and nine points. And what is your opinion about the, the sending off? I saw it. There was nothing, nothing innocuous. Two, two guys trying to compete for a dropping ball. It happens in every, every, every match, club match and county match. Disappointing. Uh, though I wish Limerick all the very, very best. You know, and in, in the final, you know, they they used their extra man very well, and, and so like they, they obviously deserve to win. Just a, a pity that uh, Tommy went off so early in the game. On today's performance, we need to improve a lot to be to to. to to trouble either Cork or Kerry. But then again, the Munster final is a new game, a new ball game. We have four weeks. We have a lot to work on and we'll be looking forward to it. I say he's relishing it. Liam McHale, the Tommy Prendergast sending off after 12 minutes, crucial. You being involved with Clare, played Waterford. How important is Tommy to them? He, does he be one of their t uh, top five players? He's about six foot five, very, very mobile. Yeah. Young lad learning the game. And. Um, is the you elbow know, back uh, there? That lads is definitely a red card. A high ball coming out, he swings an elbow, catches the Limerick midfielder in the face, and I think there's no yellow card or no, no yeah. excuses there. He he must have got a rush of blood to his head. A little bit excited. Twelve minutes in, one of your best players, a midfielder, gets sent off. You're you're fighting an uphill That's battle straight away after that. 114 years on, Tony Limerick go into a, another monster final now. I know you're a fan of, of the Limerick football. I just feel they've been very unlucky over the last few years. Limerick are a side. They've had huge quality like Jim O'Donovan and John Galvin midfield. John Galvin has been one of the best midfielders. I've been seeing this, saying this for years and mm. he's, he's getting no credit for it. Now the 4th of July they have four weeks to get things right. They have a good forward line. They have a very decent back line and they'll be really relishing the, the Munster final. Uh, I suppose this game today for them after 12 minutes when Ger Collins got the goal and he got sent off and that was the end of it really with a quality side like Limerick who have uh, not alone get to the final, but they want to win the final. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very hard for Waterford. Yeah, well, Limerick uh, played Mead last year, and I was very impressed with them. Of course, they sh probably should have yeah. beaten Cork in the Munster yeah. final earlier. And this year, the Munster final is on the fourth day of July, right. so maybe it'd be Independence Day for Limerick. <laughs> After 14, it'd be some Independence. It'd be great for them. Well done. And, and it wasn't a bad year for Waterford, I suppose. We should acknowledge in the overall context of things. Well, still to come, we'll be talking hurling with Pete Finner.